Hi, I'm Ben, Safety Manager at ASC. In this video, we're going to talk about the hazards of ice on the road and pavement, which is sometimes called black ice. Even though I'm filming on a sunny, dry day, we work in many locations that have icy conditions. And even in warm weather, ice can form in the early mornings or late evenings. So pay attention and let's go through the hazards and safe practices for combating black ice. Black ice is created when liquid water freezes on the ground. This normally happens when it rains and it's freezing on the ground, or when snow or ice melts during the day and then freezes overnight. The reason it's called black ice is because it usually freezes on asphalt, which is black. The ice is clear, and so you can only see the black asphalt beneath. So, how do you spot black ice? The best practice is to pay attention to changing weather conditions. When temperatures fluctuate between freezing and non-freezing temperatures, black ice is likely to form. Also, know where to look. Bridges, freeway overpasses, and shaded driveways, areas that receive a lot of sun during the day, are likely to be areas that black ice will form overnight. Finally, during the day, look for areas of asphalt that appear wet, shiny, or glossy. And during the night, Look for parts of the road that are dark or dull. So these are usually patches of black ice. Of course, the best practice with ice and black ice is to avoid it. Notify the people in the area so they avoid it too. And if you're at a hotel or another business, notify the business employees so they consult the area and put up warning signs. If you arrive at a job site and there's ice in the area, notify us in the safety department so we can have it professionally removed. If you are driving and encounter black ice, take your foot off the accelerator, but do not apply the brake. Aim your steering wheel in the direction you want to go and avoid making large turns. If you are losing control of the vehicle or need to stop immediately to avoid a hazard, aim your vehicle into grass, dirt, or snow if possible. If you find yourself walking accidentally onto a patch of black ice, you will need to shuffle and make slow, deliberate movements with your feet and avoid major changes in direction. Also, use a handrail whenever possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching this safety video on black ice. Remember that the best practice with black ice is to avoid it. So be on the lookout for those slick and slippery surfaces this winter. Have a great week.